Hello everybody, I'm just opening the Notepad++ again and in this class what we're just talking about actually we've made the beautiful area for our latest comments, latest post and the user list and whatever I just did here. Now, I just want to create some, actually our dashboard is completed now. I just want to create some more pages so first of all I'm just thinking to create the new post page, okay? So what I have to do is actually First of all, just simply copying the side area and the header. A header is already copied, so now I'm just simply copying the side area. Where is the side area? So this the view post categories and all this is actually the side area, the complete column LG10. Oh no, this not actually this is the side area. Okay? So simply the LG2. So what I'm just going to do is actually just copying this complete LG2 actually cutting and pasting in the new file and is going inside the include okay and here I'm just typing oh not in this include actually I have to go okay what is it inside this sidebar this is the previous one so I'm just deleting that sidebar and saving this okay actually that sidebar is actually this is this one okay so save that and here just simply copy and paste it here okay if you just remember that when I just made the uh, admin folder first then I just copy the complete include folder and in the includes folder we just created the header sidebar and etc etc for the front end of the CMS system but obviously we have to create some new things like header and the sidebar as we did for the admin panel so let's just refresh that now I got the same thing without any problem that means it is perfect okay and now if I just open this sidebar this is another sidebar and this is another so I'm just canceling the previous ones because it can confuse us so all that I'm just canceling all that so this is the sidebar dot PHP and here instead of ash I'm, ash, I'm just adding the index dot PHP so save that and refresh that okay when I just click on index now I'm inside the index.php but when I just click on the new items nothing should happen but when I just when anyone click on new item this navigation will be open and collapse and here this is the new post area and this should be the new post.php so save that and refresh that back now when I just click on new post now I'm on another page where I just create I just didn't create that page so now I'm just creating a new page and I'm just copying the index.php and this index.php is the admins index okay not the front ends save that and actually I'm um, just deleting that that old pictures which are actually not important all that okay now just simply create a new file new post.php and just simply click on save button okay so for now what I have to do I have to delete all these panels because they are not really important so first thing first I'm just deleting these TRs and this one obviously so let's just delete that let's just delete both of them and the body and now I can easily delete the whole comments area obviously because we don't need all that things in the our general new post area you know we are in the new post page dot php just confirm that we are not in the index dot php we are in the new post dot php because I just copied all the data from the uh, index dot php so I'm just deleting the data which is actually not necessary in the post new post dot php so this is what I'm just doing here okay so obviously we don't need the top area I'm just deleting all that so this I just deleted that okay there are a lot of data and we have to delete all of them so I'm just deleting this has gone and that one as well okay now everything is fine actually now just delete that and now the LG8 area is empty now okay the first one is the MG3 actually I should delete this one as well because this is the user's area 
so I have to delete the top blocks as well okay I just deleted that and no clear fix needed okay I have to delete all the top blocks so this is the third one and this is the last one block I just deleted that as well so now I actually just deleted all the rough things from this new post page now this new page post page has the area to put anything which you want so now here I'm just going to the notepad again and just simply creating a new form here okay in this way and here just clearing that we are inside the LG 10 so by the way what I'm just going to do first of all just mention that some classes of bootstrap and this form is actually the form horizontal okay perfect now go here but before that one thing more I just wanted to add here okay the div and this adding I'll correct them now the class page header okay what is the page header I'm just typing here I'm just setting the h3 okay I'll change this if it won't be good new post save that and go to the browser and refresh that now this is the page header but the, the spelling should be h2 the h3 is not looking really cool okay this is the page header okay if I just add h1 I wanna see the result okay refresh that this is looking more cool but you know that this is the extra space I just added here if I just delete that and save that back and refresh that now this is looking more cool and more perfect okay because it's on top now so now what I'm just going to do is actually creating the form here okay the first one div or the main div should be the you know that I'm adding the class the form group okay and then some more things here a label okay cover that label okay then the input area so here I'm not copying the label because I just want the MPD tag the input is MPD you know the type should be text and then just save that and just add a class of here I'm just adding the class label well, before just adding the class I'm just, I just want to see the result that what I just made here I'm just adding the four attribute which is really important to add something here the title okay title and here I'm just adding the ID of title okay and here the title in capital letters so save that and go to the browser and I'm just going to refresh that now this is the thing which I just made but I have to add the class here form control now save that go to the browser and refresh that now this is looking really perfect because I just got the full area to inserting my title but one more thing I just want to do here I'm adding another class the container okay now refresh that now this is inside the container or what if I just create another div here and just paste and just actually add the class of container here and actually paste the whole form inside that okay well at this time form has nothing just one element or two but here you can see that container is taking the whole space so the problem is that we have this area as well so we have to scroll this horizontally but if I just add the fluid as well okay now in the fluid way it will manage this problem now you can see that our form is just compressed the area so that is really perfect which I just want so what more I just have to add actually if I just copy this form group oh no I just simply have to copy the form groups not instead of all the data so I'm just simply copying the form groups and and now here is the another th the author name so I'm just changing it the author name okay so now just go to the browser and refresh that now I got the outer area but this area should not be look like that I'm just changing the outer area actually I'm just deleting this area I don't need this area this area will be automatically created obviously 
Only one can be the author, the Shazaib Kamal or the John Mark or any other registered user by the way. So what I'm just typing here, the category, this is really important, element if you just want to create something. So now, refresh that, now this is the category, so here is the category and that is the category obviously. Save that and refresh that, now I got the category area. Oh, uh, oh, uh, just inside there. And what I'm just adding here, here I'm just removing this, uh, actually the input, I'm just adding this select, okay, some new thing I just want to do here. And at this time we have two categories, but obviously, we will have a lot of categories here, when we will activate it. The first one is the nature, the second one is the technology. Save that and go to the browser and refresh that. Now this is the thing which I just got. But the thing is, I have to add the class of form control. Okay, save that back and go to the browser and refresh that. Now this is the preferred thing which I just want to do. Okay, so here I'm just adding the ID as well. And the ID which I'm just adding here is the category. Okay, save that and go back to the browser. Refresh that now. I got the perfect thing. Now after the category, what is the more important or important thing actually? So the most important thing I just forgot that I have to add the image area. So where to upload the image, I can uh, add the image uploader at the top. So I'm just adding that here. This should not be the text type. This should be the actually file. Okay, by the file I will upload the images. Refresh that now I got the files area here and here I'm just adding the BDN okay save that and actually refresh that now this is the BDN close that and it is working perfectly and BDN primary save that and refresh that okay this is not looking really cool because of the type but no problem right now I'm just changing the title of it actually I'm not doing anything with this I'm just changing all the things from here at the top and here I'm just changing the title and actually here I'm just typing the image or upload in image save that and here I'm just changing the form control and just typing the BDN press in space and BDN primary oh this spelling is wrong so let's just save that and go to the browser refresh that now this is really perfect so by the way I just edit the category image and all other things but one more thing I just want to add and uh, where to add actually I just want to add the status of publisher and publish but before that I'm just thinking to add this here after the category and here I'm just adding the title description okay so this is the description finally I just created the area for that I'm just adding the text area for getting the description because description can be big okay this is the text area and I'm just adding the class of form control now let's just save that and I'm just going to the browser refresh that now this is the description area okay I'll do some more things with the description but right now I'm just copying this again or I'm just copying this form group again and just pasting after that form group and what I'm just going to do here this should be the status what is the status of this form this post is actually draft or publish okay draft or publish but by default is it should be the published but we can select the draft as well so let's just refresh that and I, I just created the beautiful form here and the last thing is the button okay so I'm just going to create the button here as well so we'll simply just copy uh, the easy one and just pasting that after that new form group here and what I'm just going to do here I'm just removing the label or not remove the label simply save and here just change the type of it this submit okay and now what I'm just going to do, I'm just changing the form control into BDN and save that and refresh that now. 
this is a button that I just created okay so let's just add in a space and type danger okay button danger save that and refresh that back okay this is the submit button which I just created but what the size should be for the submit button we can create a, a huge size we can just create uh, for example how we can do that if I just type BDN block save that and go to the browser and refresh that now this is looking perfect as well so I think we should not need to change this so let's just do more the last thing is actually we have to